but it's really important. Decision making 102. Decision making 101 basically taught you how to eliminate distractions and essentially make your life easier for making decisions. This is gonna be 102. What's up, bro? What's up? Glad you made it. So the first step is less is more, right? The first step to making the right decision is kind of eliminating things from your life, right? Um, we kind of like really went over that. If you missed it, I mean, I'm sorry, but who missed it? Who missed it? No one missed it? I think everybody got it, right? Yeah, you missed it. Um, so there's 102. And this is basically going to be making, um, thinking critically, okay? So now that you set yourself up for success, now it's time to think critical, right? The first one, I say it every single time. I say it every time I say it in investing. It's the same thing with decision making. Stop following people. Just stop. Just completely stop following people. Now, there's a way you do this, right? So let's say hypothetically you want to be a basketball player, right? There's going to be a certain point where you have to follow people. So this will be like from beginner to maybe intermediate. Now, at this point, from your standing on the shoulders of giants, right? You're following probably someone that's way better than you. There has to be a break point. There has to be a point where you just kind of go somewhere else. And the reason I say that is because if you really think about how humans work, it's pretty much people just kind of copying everybody else. It's the same thing with like the information on the internet. And the only way you're able to get to where you are and actually have success is to do something that nobody else did. Think about like the greatest people on planet earth. All, they literally defied everybody and did something completely left field. Elon Musk with Tesla, you know, with the, uh, the electric cars, no one said you could do it, he did it. No one said you can make an electric solar company, he did it. Nobody said you can go to the moon and re-land a, a, a rocket ship back on its thrusters, he did it. The point here is that if you want to become like actually successful in your own life and make decisions, if you keep following people, you're gonna keep getting minimal results. And the crazy part about it is if you're following somebody that's doing this, then you're never gonna be as good as them, you're always gonna be a step behind because they are making their own decisions and you're trying to copy their own decisions. So they will always literally be a step ahead of you. Think about chess, right? They're literally gonna be a step ahead of you. So there has to be a point where you make your own decisions. Think critically about what it is. Don't always ask me, try to come up with your own conclusion. And then don't always ask people, just come up with your own conclusion and execute. It's that simple, right? And that, that process of doing that will lead you to the right ones versus the wrong ones and you'll understand where to go from there. Does that make sense? All right, that's the first part. Number two, have a roadmap or principles, right? And I created that roadmap for you guys. So let's say for example, X marks the spot for treasure. How the hell you know you're supposed to get here without, without someone telling you where to go, right? That's a lot of your decisions in life. You guys don't know where X marks the spot is. You have no fucking idea. Basically what I did is I created principles and you need to have principles for yourself and then there's company principles. I created company principles, right? So in here, you're gonna get the X marks the spot. Now with yourself to get, it's gonna happen eventually. Like the principles I'm, I'm putting on you guys, are gonna force you to become an outstanding human being. The principles I'm gonna give as a company is gonna force you to become an outstanding human being. So to get within those principles, you're gonna have to find your own principles for yourself. Because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to put in the work and you're eventually gonna get weeded out in this company. Because the people that will follow the principles of this company will stick along and have to dig deep. They're gonna have to dig deep to figure it out. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna give you the company principles to figure out your own. And I highly recommend you do. Moving forward, here's the company principles. Boom, I'll print it out, we'll get it laminated, put it on the wall. Number one, results obsessed. If you want success in this business, you have to understand it's not about money. It's about results. It's that simple. The student, what's best for the client is what's best for the company. Every single, that's the number, I put in number one for a reason. What's best for the client is what's best for, you can't, oh, who was it? You came in with that guy with 85,000 subscribers, remember? Or followers. And I'm like, yo, we're not gonna sell him the NFT course because he's not gonna make money. If I could easily have gotten 10 grand out of that man, I could have been like, you know, I would have just sold the shit out of him and got 10 grand. What I would have done is it would have messed up our credibility. It would have messed up everything we stand for. If that man can't make money, we charged him 10 grand and took his money. If you guys wanna know how to scam people, I could show you a better way of doing it. That's not the way we're doing it. We're gonna give people results. And that's how we're gonna have longevity in this company. That's what the only thing about business that even works, right? Business is solving a problem, right? Number two, laser focus. Eliminate distractions and keep the most important thing in mind. Get, keep your eyes on the prize. Whatever you're gonna do in your specific area, don't let anyone distract you. You guys should know this, we're reading the one thing for a reason, and that's pretty much sums it up. Um, but I don't wanna like piggyback on that too much because like I said, you guys are reading the book. Number three, uncommon amongst the uncommon. Joe, can you explain that concept for me? You gotta be different. Uh, 
I mean, just like I was saying right there, you get to a certain point where you can follow people, but at a certain point, you got to be uncommon. Waking up at four in the morning, who does that? 26 years old, CEO, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Do stuff that is just out of the ordinary. Not, if, if people are not doing it, Already I'm already uncommon. I'm already a CEO at 26, right? So now I'm trying to like take it a step further. Now look at the CEOs. They're, they're, they're lazy. They don't work out as hard as me. They ain't reading as much books and consuming as much information. They're definitely not working 14, 15 hours a day. That's a fact. And if they did all that, I promise you, they, don't, they have more money in their bank account than me. And it freaks you out. But I spent all my money. I, Bailey screamed at me yesterday because we don't have enough money to pay people. You, get, you catching my drift here? They will not, I will be uncommon amongst the uncommon. And you should be the same way with your life. You need to look at the most uncommon people in your industry and completely eliminate them. Okay, number four, long-term thinking. Always, every single decision you make, you need to sacrifice the short-term for the long-term. Let me give you an example. You eat a donut. It gives you short-term fulfillment, but you get fat over time, right? You can literally align this with every decision you make. Every decision you make. You take a poo-poo. Take a you come out of the bathroom, you're going to wash your hands or you're going to keep it pushing? Yeah. You might like get that short-term fulfillment by not washing your hands, but eventually you're going to get f***ing sick and you're, you're dirty. You're going to get poo-poo on your hand. All right? Something's going to happen over the long run. I'm just trying to relate this. All right? I'm just... No, it's f***ing right. real. It's real. Wash your damn hands. I know it sucks, but wash your damn hands. All right? Another one. You're gonna lift weights, re-rack the weights, all right? Re-rack the weights, clean up the place, all right? I must suck in the, in, the, in the time you're doing it and you waste an extra 10 minutes, oh my gosh. But over time, right, it's gonna make it so that everybody gets more. If I see that people are abusing equipment, you think I'm gonna buy more equipment? You think I'm gonna invest more into the company when you guys are not using it and abusing it? No, I'm not going to. And this is with pretty much everything you could ever look at, you could literally look at a decision and really think like, what's the long-term benefit and what's the short-term benefit? You could, every decision you make, you can literally just sit there and quantify the long term versus the short term, all right? And always, every time, pick the long term. Number five, exit the matrix. The ability to do the unimaginable. I'm telling you right now, if you think whatever is going on is impossible, you're not gonna make it. I'm, t I'm telling you that right now, right? If you think 100 miles is impossible, you're not gonna make it. You're just not gonna make it. Whatever you got going on, if you're squatting, and you think 225 is impossible, you're not gonna make it. And the reason I say that is because we got to where we're at because I really, I really do believe it. Like, I'm not just trying to say, I really do believe whatever the fuck I want, I can go get it. And that's got me to where I'm at today. And if you believe that, it will work. If you don't believe that, it won't work. That's the, that's the thing. That's what you have to understand. You have to have complete and total conviction to believe that unimaginable is, is, is possible. And if you could do that, I mean, they're kind of all piggybacking off of each other if you understand what I'm saying here. Number six, truth. Be scientific for every decision you make and boil it down to the most fundamental truth. The truth will set you free. And I'm not just saying that, I embody that, right? It says in the Bible, you can find parallels in pretty much any su successful person on earth. The truth will always point you in the right direction. If you, if you have false information, it's just kind of like the roadmap. You don't know what you're going. You don't know where you're going. It's the same thing for coins, for anything. Always seek the truth. That's the obvious one for most people. Go all in. We talk about that all the time. Burn the boats, right? Go all in. If you want success, guys, I'm just giving you the answers right here. This is what's happening with the company. We've talked about this multiple times. I don't have to like really hit on that. Number eight, adaptability. We've talked about that as well. The ability to learn anything or do anything at will. Like, I don't care what it is. I'll learn it. I'm going to learn it, okay? Number nine, curiosity kind of piggybacks off that. Question everything. Uh, ask why and hold nothing sacred in the pursuit of the truth, which piggybacks off the truth. These kind of all work together. Curiosity, figure out like things that other people can't figure out. Notice like they're all kind of combining together, right? That's, that's like synergetic, right? Figure out like, uh, you know, things that the common man can't see. And that's how we get results that common man won't get, right? Um, and number 10, high standards. That's obvious. Uh, highest quality standards possible for the product, for the company, for obviously the environment, highest quality standards, no ifs, ands, or buts. That's how we're going to live our life. That's the principles of the company. Any questions on this? Any questions moving forward? Okay, last two parts. Let me read that real quick. Uh, yeah, okay, two ones. The first one's obvious. Make the, your decisions in the right state of mind. If you're emotional, someone died, someone broke up with you, don't make crazy decisions. Think about it for a week. Think about it for 48 hours. Take a deep breath. Go meditate, go do some yoga, and then make the decision. Don't make a decision in the wrong state of mind. Okay, that's, that's decision making 102, you know what I mean? All right, number four. This one's really important. 
and it's really hard to quantify. Find, they call it anti-patterns and regular patterns and parallels in other places of life. Let me explain. So for example, how does Michael Jordan teach me about business? Because he optimizes for the 0.01%. So I watched his documentary and he's talking about like the little obsessiveness he has over like basketball, like the crazy things that no peop- nobody does. And I took that and I took the, the pattern that he developed, his decision-making pattern, and I put that into business. And you know, you've seen me say it all the time, like I told you too, I literally come up with these little patterns. I'm like, yo, I saw the same thing here, here, and here. And, and then I realized that like, that's the fucking truth. Remember I told you that shit? I told you you need to find the truth patterns in everything. And it's gonna become obsessive. And I find, I do this with everything, guys. I find the truth patterns in making videos. I'll literally look at a situation and I'll tell you, I'll be like, yo, you need to do that, that, and that. And I found the truth pattern in that situation. You guys see me like space off and I'm not like listening to you? That's what I'm fucking doing. I'm literally sitting there thinking about the situation and how I can make it into a video because I'm obsessed with making videos. And that's why we're going viral. So that's what you need to be doing for yourself. Find the truth patterns and then also find the anti-patterns. You know your bum ass friend that's not doing anything with his life? Figure out what he does and then figure out what all the bum asses are doing and don't do that. Right? It's the truth. Like figure out what like these, these psychopaths in prison these uh, drug dealers and like, you know, freaking people ruining people's lives, figure out what they do and don't do it. It's all basic and simple, but people don't follow it. But yeah, that's it for the decision making 102. How'd you guys like that? Good? Yeah.